Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In between episodes, I have done a lot of the inventory management I said I would do. So we have this wooden crate, it's filled with a huge amount of money, and well, basically we have to sell it. In terms of other things, I did look at the dies. Some of them looked quite interesting. I'm not entirely sure if I want them for our character, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I think what we need to do is get a lot more dies and then kind of go through them all, but yeah, I'm not quite ready for that yet. What we might do is when we're selling that 15,000 gold, we might try and get some of our money back in dies, and then we can have a look at it. Uh, in terms of other things, people have been talking in the comments about who is good for what quest. Apparently, Jahira and Minsk seem to be good for most quests, um, at least in terms of uh, they're good for Will's quest, they're good for Shadowheart's quest, and they're good for the murder quest. Uh, apparently, Jahira may have a line for Astarian's quest, but other than that, nobody else does. So that's kind of a free spot. And one thing I was thinking about is we have some infer enriched Infernal Iron on us. What I'm wondering is whether we can uh, take that Infernal Iron and do something with it with Karlak. So actually, before we do anything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Lazael out of our party. A welcome face. Yes, wait for me Camp. here. Yep. Very... And then we're going to grab Karlak and we're going to go and see the only person who does anything with Infernal Iron. What's on your mind? And this might seem like a waste of time, right? But it's twofold. The other thing that this guy is, is he's a shop, which is going to be very useful to us. So let's leave here and let's go and find this shop. And then we can go and uh, sell him a bunch of stuff. So he is all the way over here. Wait. Where is he? No, oh, it's actually right next to us. Perfect. Well, love that. Let's go up here. Right. Do a few bits, a few jumps to get us there. Up here. Then this way. Then this way. Party's just like, I don't know how to follow you with this. Uh, up here. Right. And now we wait for the party. We will be here any second now. There we go. I just need to wait for Karlak to be within range, otherwise any dialogue wouldn't start if there is any dialogue. Hello, Damon. What can I do for you? Uh, nice workshop you have here. Uh, I'm shocked. By yeah, we've had this dialogue. Hey, just want to see if there was anything, anything else. Happen in the meantime. Okay, so enriched infernal iron does not seem to do anything at least yet. Right, let's go to camp. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we are gonna ditch these in the camp chest, and head over here, and in the traveler's chest. I am going to do a little bit of the uh, trick that we've learned, which is uh, you open like the reeking pouch here. Then on this side you open this. Oh, I need to do a sort by type. That's okay. Select everything and drag it in. Perfect. Which allows you to exceed your carrying capacity. You then teleport them back to Damon by doing this. Wonderful. And then you can go to Damon. What can I do for you? Uh, sell. Of course. Won't be alive right. To hold them if it weren't for you. So first things first. Let's get. How much money does he have? He has one thousand uh, and nine. Oh, yes, he doesn't like us as much as he used to. He has 1,029 here. So is there anything we want from him? You can add your full dexterity modifier to your armor class? Oh, we got some more of that. You know what? Give me give me that. I don't know if it's better than Minsk stuff. We'll have a look. Uh, reduces all incoming damage. You gain resistance in Blade Ward. I don't think we need that. You have bonus to attack and damage rolls with weapons. That seems interesting. That might be Minsk uh, stuff. You gain freedom of movement and long strider. Not necessary because we can get long strider anyway, but you know what? Might as well grab that as well, just in case. Just have a look at anything that might be useful for us. I don't think this is useful at all for us currently. Uh, we don't have a heat build. Uh, no, don't think that's going to be good. Yeah, it's Eldritch Knight or Warlock's Pact Weapon. These are generics. We don't want any of the stuff that's generic. Some of this I probably sold to him. I want to buy all your dye. There we go. Ah, dye remover! 
I knew there was something I was missing. Okay. Uh, and then we also want all of his cash. So we're looking at 5,000 here. Okay. That's quite a lot, really. How much do we have in here? So we only have 7,000 worth in here now, according to uh, this. Because he's only giving us half, which is what most merchants would give us. So we might not make as much off of this as we think. But let's go, like, this far down. I'm also selling the uh, Ghost Whisperer painting. Because it's, you know, uh, worth so much. Okay, balance. We're giving 600. Okay, so I need to just get 600 back. How much is that painting worth? 700 to him currently. There, right, I'll take the painting back. Uh, which then gives us... And, and then I do this. Yeah, so we're giving him 100 gold. Wait, no, we're not. We just took 100 gold off that. We're, we're gaining 1,000 gold. Yeah, this seems fine. Barter. Yeah. And we're gaining some equipment on top of that. Wonderful. Let's go back to camp. Now, I just want to check whether this is... Well... Yeah, I want to check whether any of these are better for any of our party members. So let's send those to camp. Let's send these to camp and do a quick check. So... Minsk. Oh, I need to be over here. Uh, okay. Oh, right, jump. Forgot. It's the only way to move quickly. I have something left in here? Really? What was what's left in here? Oh, one singular watcher great great sword. Okay, we'll figure out how to do that in a second. Okay, so is this better than what you're wearing? So this one is Dex, saving throw plus two, armor class 17. This one gives you resistance to fire damage. Yeah, okay. So if we're facing fire, this is better. If we're not, then the other stuff is better. Okay, we'll, um, we will simply put that in our um, clothing's chest for now then. This is bonus to attack and damage rolls with weapons. So this allows them to do missile snaring, but I do like just having a plus two to attack and damage rolls. Let's give them that. And then these can come back into the peculiar clothing's chest. Oh. There we go. And then these. Uh, what do your current stuff do? When you dash, you gain lightning charges and athletics. This one would instead give you freedom of movement, which I think is the main thing we need. So movement speed cannot be reduced by difficult terrain, spells, magical effects, cannot be paralyzed or restrained. Uh, and you are able to use medium armor, so that seems good. There we go. So you gain freedom of movement. Wonderful. Cool. So we got some Minsk upgrades there. You love to see it. Right, anything else? Uh, nope. Okay, we're still a little over our weight, but that is absolutely fine. Let's do a quick save. And then we're going to head back to town. And then go to the next shop. Next shop should be much easier. Actually, no, I think I know which shop I want to go to next. Not going to be quite as easy as I thought to, to get to. Uh, I'm going to go to Basil Escape. It's actually not too bad. The reason I want to go here is because I want to go to the Tabernacle. Because that is our next location after going here. Oh, I also need to ditch Karlak. I forgot. We'll do that in a second. I guess actually we could, we could get Karlak buffs while we're here, but... Right, over this way. Do a little save. And then we'll have a chat to this guy. Okay. So I was just looking at what this one was. 20 hit points from that. Oh, okay, cool. Welcome back. You have come far, I perceive. Uh How may I holy shoot? items. Of course, my child. Right, let's Within see what minutes. you got. You got any you, you do have some resistance stuff, so we'll buy your resistance stuff. We'll buy that. Uh what else have you got? Don't actually need as many of those as you might think. Because I have a lot of those. Do you have any dyes? Don't think so. You have the Sacred Star, which I don't think we have anybody who can use. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Uh, right. He, he really has no dye? Yeah, none at all. Okay. Cool. Right, for us, we go Reeking Pouch. And do a little sort on that. 
Then grab all of this and just chuck it in there. And then balance. Perfect. Seems great to me. Uh, barter. I think I'm happy with that. Right. Awesome. What we can then do is take these and chuck them into... I think it's this one? No, these are generic elixir. I'm trying to remember what I have in each pack. Magical wal walnut? The magical walnut. Yeah, it's filled with all of our powerful elixirs. This can go to Jahira for now. Because Jahira is currently the holder of the scrolls. Wonderful. Looking ahead. And now, we are extremely, extremely um, flush with cash. And we've sold all of our stuff. Now, currently we have a problem in that cash is 29 of our weight. How do we fix this problem? Oh, wait a second. One, th one thing before we do that. Welcome. You have come far, I yeah. Of course, um, my choice. Do you have any... Within limits. Uh, let me see here. Do you have any alchemical ingredients? You do. You don't. Okay, that's fine. I just want to see whether we had any cloud giant stuff. Right. So what we want to do is we want to get ourselves a buff or a couple of buffs now. Uh, so we could get a buff with uh, one of the generic gods. Just think about who we want to get buffs with with who. Maybe we should get Shadowheart as a Lune buff. That seems good. Uh, oh, I should have a look at how much the buffs cost at this level. Uh, unlock. There we go. Right, so how much do... Oh, that has to be all the way over there? Weird. And that'll go down there. Right. Um, how much do these buffs cost? So this is the tabernacle. Uh, let me just look it up so that we don't waste any money. Baldur's Gate 3, tabernacle offering level 12. Okay, so at level 12, how much is it? Uh, level 12. Okay, so at level 11, you needed 4,500. So I think that is going to be 5,000 gold. Okay, right. This Let's way. have a look here. So, Shadow Heart. Let's get rid of the buff. I did also very briefly see there when the person was talking about buffs uh, in what I just looked up. They were saying they got Shadow Heart a buff of Shar, which is very funny. <laughs> As an after converting away from Shar. But let's go Salune. We've saved 5,000 gold. You feel the chill gaze of the Moon Maiden upon you. Saluna welcomes you. Okay. Read that which is subscribed upon the altar. An inscription reads. Let all who worship the changing tides of life and knowledge feel the blessings of Saluna. Trust in the purity of my light. See the constancy in its inconstancy, and you will be guided aright. As a moon-bathed cleric, this is your moment to bask in her lunar light and imbue your spirit with her majesty and grace. Make an offering. Uh, I would like to offer 5,000 gold. Or nearest, nearest to 5,000 gold. Like, can I just type in 5,000? I can. Done. We've, we've, we've done it. The amount you've offered proves your faith and devotion. You may now pray here once a day for a divine blessing. Okay, beseech a blessing from your deity, Salune. Show reverence before your deity and open your soul to their divine power. The cold, white light of Saluna fills you with majestic wisdom and grace. Shine forth as the Moon Maiden shines. Okay, so... Hey! We actually got inspired from doing that. Ordinary practices in extraordinary times. That's cool. Okay. Uh... So... Offer appropriate offerings to a deity in the Stormshore Tabernacle. Wonderful. Um, now, there is, in case you're wondering, a way to cheese these. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to tell you that I've seen it and I know what it is. Also, what is it? Plus two to all saving throws. That's pretty good. Um, the way to cheese these, if you don't want to spend 5,000 gold apiece, 
is you simply reset your level to level 1 with Withers, which costs you 150 gold. You then pay 400 gold, you get the buff, you then level back to level 12. I believe that is the cheese. I, whether that still works or not, I do not know. But essentially, that's how you do it. Watch your elders and learn. Um... Let me now just have a quick look. I just want to see something for lore reasons. What god does Jahira... Jahira worship? There we go. Um, in the novel, Jahira venerates the deity Maliki, the goddess of forests. Oh, okay. Well, is that one of the gods on the Statue of Gods? Let's have a look, shall we? So, save. Let's see what we got in here. Right. This altar isn't dedicated to your god. Yes. It's one of many. And in this place you sense uh, a spark so which one do we reckon is Maliki? Divine flame. This uh this one maybe? The gods are ready to receive your donation. Uh it's none of those. Okay, if I don't find it, I'm just gonna choose a random the one gods basically. Are ready to receive your well not random, donation. but I'm gonna choose one that makes sense. Uh Miliki, Lady of the Forest and Supreme Ranger. Perfect. I would then like to donate. Uh, oh no, that, that's too much. <laughs> Five thousand gold. Done. The amount you've offered proves your piety yep. and devotion. You may now pray your soul opens to Hey, so she now has the buff. Uh Carlac. Do, thanks. I don't know if we have a god for you, so I'm going to choose okay. for you. Uh you can have helm. Alright. There we go. You see an altar dedicated to Helm the Vigilant. Right, uh let's do this. Donate. Um, 5,000 gold. Oh, no, 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 no more. <laughs> the amount you've offered proves your faith and devotion. Right. You are blessed by Helm's fierce vigilance and feel stern and alert. Praise Helm. Praise him. Right. So that's her with the buff. Let's get going. We path lies before me. now want to go to... Also, we should now be... Look at this. We've got a little ton of weight we can carry now. We're going to go here. This altar your god is uh, Greed and the darkness. The gods are ready to receive your sacrifice. Just trying to see if I can find the one that I'm thinking of here. There's actually none of these. Okay. Uh, balance and ambiguity. The gods are ready to receive your donation. No. Okay. The gods are ready to receive mm. your joyful donation. I don't know which one I'm looking for. I'm looking for the one that we, um... Maybe it's not here. The one that we found in an earlier bit. The, uh... What was it? In the first place that we went to, the Goblin Village, we found somebody who we had to do the, uh... Like, penitence for? I was just wondering if it was there. Uh... We have another look at the uh this one. The gods are ready to Read in receive darkness. your sacrifice. Maybe it was no, because it's the deity of the Dwager. I've forgotten which one it was. Oh, well. Um The gods are ready to receive let's see. your donation. Now I'm just like, which which one do I want? How about the Lord of Knowledge? That one kind of works for us. Ogma, the Lord of Knowledge and Patron of Bards. We're not really a bard kind of person, but we are a Lord of Knowledge. Let's do that. I would like to put 5,000 gold into the uh, Okma train. Good. Okay. The amount you've offered proves your piety and devotion. You may not. Right. So we now have Anointed in Splendor. Wonderful. And now we can head back. And our coffers are looking uh, mighty empty. Mighty empty. Also, how do I have 54 camp supplies? What, what, what am I carrying that counts as a camp supply? Oh no. Anyway, um. Right, let's go over here to Carlac and ditch her. Oh, it might. Be, wait, maybe it's stuff that's in the traveler's chest? Not sure. Soldier. Stay behind. Oh, come on. You heard oh. me. Right. Now, for Shadow Heart's quest, apparently it's good to take 
Jahira and Minsk. So let's go grab Minsk and then we'll go and do the hag quest. <sighs> A little rest to brush the road from Boo's fur. Um, and then back to our follow me. Minsk shall... Oh, I wonder if there's... What god does Minsk worship? Got Minsk worships Maliki, goddess of, fo uh, goddess of forests. Ah, well that makes life a lot easier. <laughs> Uh, and that would make sense, given that um, he is a ranger. Okay. So let's leave here. He already has all the buffs on, which is nice. Uh, except, Justice, actually, truth, and you need one of these as well. Wonderful. No one stop me right. Yet. Oh, you also need the stuff that I have on Lazelle. You need this one. Let me send that to Minsk. So, Minsk, you're now getting this. I know there's a lot of setup this episode, but it is needed. And we have spent an awful lot of money. So, it's good that we're doing it right. Minsk. Here we go. Uh, that one. Maliki? There we go. Uh, donate. And then we're looking for five thousand. Done. The amount you've offered proves your your soul. Cool. So now we have that extra plus two buff, and we have to do that each time with each of these characters. And we need a little bit more money to do it with the rest. Okay. I don't think we've. Yeah, I don't think we have. I was just wondering whether we had one for Gale already. I don't think we do, but we should definitely go and get his as well at some point. Right. So now. We're much lighter on stuff, which is good. We still have a whole bunch of random things we're carrying, which are just heavy, unfortunately. It's not a lot we can really do about that. Um, except get rid of them, I suppose, but like that's never happening. Just seeing what we have. Uh, so where do we have these camp supplies? That's the other thing. Am I, what am I carrying that counts as camp supplies? <laughs> it can't, it's not these, right? No. That's not the strange chunk of it. I'm, I am carrying some very odd stuff with me. I probably don't need to carry uh, Infernal Iron with me, let's be honest. Uh, that's a little unnecessary. A uh, Magic Ring, however, is very necessary. I don't need the Wizard Bane oil either. Actually, let's be honest on that as well. What else is it? Balin's pack? Do I have something that's edible in here? No. Uh, these should all be arrows of different types. Arrows are bombs. Yeah, in fact, that could probably go in there. Magical walnut. No. Uh, sorry, I'm just distracted by going. Why? Why? Why do I have stuff that, in here somewhere? Oh, is it these? No. So these are full heels, which I thought was useful to bring. Uh, oh, these are our items that are useful. Ritual pouch. Now, none of that is edible. Must be somebody else carrying this edible stuff around. Let me guess, you need some. I don't know. Anyway, it's we have some somewhere. It's fine. Right, quick save. And now it is time to go and do the hag quest. I think that makes sense to me. We're immune from poison. We have a party together. Seems like the hag quest is kind of our next location. That's the blushing mermaid. I really need, like, another... I guess maybe here might have one. I was going to say I need another teleport, like, a little closer. Let's go Baldur's Gate and then go down from Baldur's Gate. Right. This way. Okay. Make your way across here. Uh, there are a lot of dead steel watchers, which I think is what's causing the game to lag slightly. Just ever so... It's not as bad as it was, just, like, little hitches every now and again. Because I think that it has to keep triggering the Steel Watcher events. Uh, oh, in here? Yeah, this is the easiest way in, right? Like this way and then just walk in. Okay. Uh, now, if I remember right, all the things in here have masks on, right? Now, last time we had a bunch... Oh. Okay. Fuzzy. Did... Fear not, Rashomar. It has never been your way to overindulge. But you did offend one of my contacts by letting Boo pedal around in her tankard. There. Pewter, I believe. She cracked it over your head. Oh. Oh, praise the three. 
Minsk was afraid he had shamed himself. I will uh, leave a copper at the bar. Hey, that's not what the subtitle said. Too. Correct her with my own afterward. She was drinking grog. Whose backside could only have improved it. <laughs> right. So we're going to head in here. Now, as I was saying, I believe all the... Um... Oh, have we not revealed it on this particular one? That's fine. We'll get up here. Wherever we're going to get up here. Uh, this way, followed by going in... Going like... In here. There is a spot where we can jump to, right? There we go. And then here. But yes. Okay, cool. Um, all of the guys with masks on, last time we ended up uh, killing them. It was pointed out to me at that time that we could just have chosen not to... Oh, I don't want to speak to you, Do Mince. you feel it, Boo? The path of virtue beneath my boots once more. Boo and I, we are in your debt, my friend. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, last time we were here... Uh, it was mentioned that what we could have done, actually it wasn't here, but it was at the other hack place, is not kill them, but instead just uh, incapacitate them and then, you know, get rid of the hag and free them all. To me, that does make sense. So if we get that option, we may do that, but we'll see. Right. Lot pick. And we'll then do a little guidance. We have two guidances on right now, which is interesting. Right. And wander away in here. It didn't auto save, by the way. This place. Why does it remind me of Auntie Ethel's? It's very similar to Auntie Ethel's home, isn't it? Don't want to draw any attention. Disarm the flower. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Also, that's fine. So uh, separate from the group. So Watch how you go. Get rid of the traps. Okay. We are in half light, I think, which is fine. Might be in full light, though. Oh, half light. That's fine. Step carefully. There's a trap. Yeah, I spotted it. Okay. We're very good at hiding. Baby must be so happy with Auntie. I love you, Auntie. Hmm. I love you so much. I'm gonna much. figure out how to get in here. So there's a cap. The captain is in here. A heavy chest. We got stuff around here. The gnarly cauldron. What do we have here? Okay. Hmm. Just investigating. Oh, that is luminescent. I see. So we'd love to take out that bulb if we're heading over here. Trying to see where a hag might be. I don't see one immediately. Let's turn off this bulb. We failed the survival check, which means there might be something to dig here. Okay. Be wary. This place is trapped. The baby must be so happy with Auntie. Turn out the lights. Okay. Thank you, Auntie. There's the trap. Thank you for making me X marks the spot. Gonna dig the Just trying to see if there's anything else in here. X marks the spot. Gonna dig. So that does imply that this is potentially somewhere. What I'm gonna do is, for us, I'm just gonna say, uh, X marks the spot. There we go. Now we can dig there. Disarm the flower. Okay. None of these guys seem like we have to fight them. Have you noticed that? Like, I'm just seeing who's at... I guess Captain Grizzly is the only one that matters, but it doesn't matter too much. Hmm. Interesting. Because none of these are like a hag. Maybe there's another clue off of these guys. That's the other option. Hmm. Okay, let's make our way back. We don't necessarily have to fight them, but I think disabling all those helps a lot. Turn off the candles over here as well. 
to help us. Uh, Trap. Be cautious. Treasure, treasure. Disable. Everywhere. Right, now we turn off the vent. That's fine. Okay. So what have we got in here? We got some I uh, beholder irises. Okay. Interesting. Got a chair. Bucket of fish, but there's still nothing that's actually over here that I think we need to worry about, apart from maybe Captain Grizzly. Let's go in here. Be wary. This place is trapped. Ah, yeah, get the tripwire. Okay. Do a little roll. Nice. So we're just clearing out this area completely before bringing other people in here. There's a trap on the other side of the wall. Oh, no, it's there, actually. Okay. That's fine. Disable that. This is fine. Turn off that lantern, or is that turning it on? Oh, turn it off immediately. And this candle. Right, wooden wall. Lot pick. There we go. We saved against vicious mockery. Now turn off this torch. Nice. Okay, and then we're kind of free to go, I think. And yeah, now we're kind of free to go. I think everything's fine in here. Yeah. So let me just move the rest of the squad over. No time to dally. So over here. Step softly. Yep. Get you in here. There is stuff above, potentially. Right. Uh, mint. My boots craves the crunch of unvirtuous nethers. Over here. The hunter stalks his prey. I know we could go the more than one at a time, but I'm trying to very specifically click kind of around corners. Although this is apparently all lit up anyway, which is not good for us. Right, and then Work Shahira. Sylvanus soften my steps. Gonna dig. Let's try and keep him close into the edge. Okay, then go. On the trail. Okay, that's fine. Uh cool. Then we could maybe close the wooden wall. Quick save, and we're through. Okay. Now, I don't know whether this is where we need to be. We've been here before, but this is roughly where I decided that we weren't going to do any more of this. So let's group up. Unstealth. Uh, unstealth as a group. That's curious. It's a lever. Oh, that brings us back to the initial place. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. So that's just a quick way back. Uh, that's no fine. The easy path. Pile of sacks. Nothing in them. Okay. I'm going to turn off all the lights and candles as we're going around here. Uh, what do you mean can't reach this? Um, switch to your weapon. Hopefully that was fine. Okay, move. Turn off that one. Turn off that one. Turn off that one. Let's try to keep her sneaking up going. Gnarly Cauldron. Mm, not sure I could should click on that, but we will in a second. Okay. So, wait for it to finish saving. Ugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was it. Just, uh. Okay. It's fine. Wooden barrel. Nothing in it. Pile of sacks. I mean, what we could do is we could go into the other room and just simply knock them all out. It's definitely possible. Do we know what this is? This was like, it will heal someone, right? This mothroom keeping anti-ethyl alive regains all hit points unless some effect prevents it from restorative magic. Just keep shooting. Oh, right. It heals very quickly. Okay. How much health does it... Or what were these? It'll explode. Okay. Uh, I think what we need to do is turn-based it. Yeah, let's go turn-based mode. 
uh, shift space. There we go. Then we're going to go... Followed by shooting it like this. Another day, Minsk. Another day, Jim. You're going to switch to your ranged weapon. And shoot it. A couple of times. How high? Jihira. You're going to move up here. Switch to your ranged weapons. And shoot it. Uh, if you could find a path. Uh, let's get Shadowheart out of the way. Okay. On her ranged weapon. Uh, Jahira. In here. Okay. End turn. It then healed up to full. Okay, I see. That's fine. Just need to do some more damage to it. But I think this is fine. Also, we don't have another... Yeah, we don't have another row of spells. That's okay. Walks on four Minsk. Feet. You got anything that we could do? My... We could brace ranged. It is once per short rest. I don't really want to use that, but maybe I will. Let's just try seeing if we get better roll in terms of damage. Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting We're going to shoot it. Followed by one of these. Wherever then Jahira. Go, gods, let there be something green. Uh, shoot it. Okay, so we got down to 14. No, never mind. Okay. You have an off. Uh, okay. You, you have a bonus thing. Let's go Jahira for a second. Well, Open this waiting. up. Oh, can I not do this on her turn? Ah, okay. That's fine. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Let's, um, just find him. Oh, wait, these are actions. Never mind, not bonus actions. That's fine. Justice Whatever. Walks on four feet and sleeps uh, in the yeah. We could potentially put a spiritual weapon over there. Oh, it's not healed? Wait a second. Can't give up now. Oh, it has healed. What's next? Oh, you have a bonus thing. You know what, let's put a spiritual weapon over there, which is, well, it's not going to kill it, that's the thing. Okay. Exit turn-based mode, have we got anything that reduces it, that stops healing? Uh, there should be spells that stop healing, right? Or maybe we've got Blight. Blight is good against plants, I think. Uh, Blight, yes. Um... Let us simply move that down here temporarily. Right, um, let's go turn base mode again. It's too far. Steel sharp. Mint. hungry. Sleep take, with a, take, take a step back. Evil. Maybe both. Jahira, get as close to the edge as you can. Come on. Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, Shadowheart. Next, I wonder. Don't know why Jahira in particular good. is having such trouble getting here. Still too far. Okay. Uh, hmm. How am I going to get over there? Maybe Misty step over there. Double check we can <laughs> shouldn't have wished to live in more right. interesting times. Jump back over here. Okay. Double check that Jahira Let can jump back. She cannot. Okay, we'd have to misty step back. That's okay. So, we're gonna quick save. I'm gonna hit bl I'm gonna go turn based, blight, which will do the highest damage. Then we're gonna misty step out. Turn based. Light. Misty step out. Drogu. Shoot it. Followed by one of these. No. 
Oh, no. Oh. Hey, that was very polite. I killed you. <laughs> Did you think you were the first? That I didn't plan for it, Petal. That said, I'm shocked and appalled, Petal. I can't believe you tried to gut me out in the open like that. After all, it's not just me anymore. I'm, what is it they say? Eating for two. Um, you're pregnant? Gobbled myself up a sweet little girl, and she was so very tasty. Ven resists in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. I have your beat, so do the heroic thing. Uh, no. Wait, journal update? Uh, kill the hag once and for all. Must kill her, must burn her purse spell or four bells using fire. Oh yeah, that would work. Save Banra. With the hag's bane, we can save her. Yes, yes, with hag's bane that I um, have with me. Yes, um, hag's... With Hag's Bane, which I um have with me. Um Hey, hey, did I sell the Hag's Bane by accident? Or did I leave it in like a chest or something? Hag's Bane, Hag's Bane. <laughs> Who has Hag's Bane? Uh uh Do we have it? That would be a real wait. It was alchemy. It was alchemy. Um pick up. Alchemy. It was a grenade, maybe? I'm gonna say it was a grenade. Hag's Bane. He dried faith flowers, which we had. We made a Hag's Bane grenade, right? Yeah, it was like this. Okay, now the question is do I still have it? Dried faith flowers. Dried faith flower. It's an ashes off, so we want to go ashes. Faith flower? Do I not have the faith flower? Thought I did. Essence? No, it was definitely ashes. Hag's Bane. Um, I don't happen to just have it on me, do I now? Hag's... Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, this is not ideal to have lost the Hag's Bane. So send that back to camp for now. Um... Did I stick it in something like, hey, yeah, I really don't want to lose this, so I'll just put it in here. <laughs> Did I accident? Oh, I still have the Watcher thing in here. I should probably deal with that at some point. Uh, Hank's Bane in the heavy chest, maybe? What's in the heavy chest? All right, yeah, that's a uh, good use of my time. Um, Was it something you could eat, maybe? No. Um, hmm. I may have to search. Having lost it is not ideal, I would say. Uh, it is not ideal at all. How could I have lost? Literal is like, literally, just don't lose it. Mm, okay. Uh, give me a second. Right, so I've looked everywhere for Hank Spain. Like, absolutely everywhere. I've looked in all my chests, looked at everything that we have. I can't find it. I've looked for the um, Fae Flower Ashes. I also cannot find them. Uh, which could mean that we used them. It could mean that I put it in a chest. It could mean that I randomly sold it by accident. Whatever it means, it means we've lost it. Now, that doesn't mean that all is lost, however. Um, there is another way to do the quest. And is do non-lethal damage to knock Anti-Ethel out. Now, I suspect this is going to be more difficult than simply chucking the Hag's Bane on her, but... You know, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can. Also, oh, turn-based. Forgot. <laughs> uh, you're then going to do this. Completely forgot to put us in turn-based so we could actually kill this plant. 
This does need to be part one, though, of the, uh, whatever we're doing. Okay, cool. There's Auntie Ethel. You're pregnant. Yes, 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 yes. Right, now also you should immediately go into combat here, and we didn't. How do I know that we should pretty much immediately go into combat Don't here? Well, that. because uh, when I was looking for the thing, I left and came back and was like, oh wait, we're in combat. Yeah. I think actually what should happen is we should be in combat and then things should run up to us, but what happened previously is that um, I sat here long enough and he spawned, essentially. That's too many enemies. Oh, there you go. If the hag dies, the child does too. There, there's our clue. So what we need to do is put on non-lethal damage, essentially. Uh, Wait, should I not have this on all the time? Use your lightning quick reflexes to protect yourself and attack hits you. You only take half the usual damage? Yeah, yeah. We should do that. Right. Uh, we need to get rid of hag's trickery. Is this when they take damage, they disappear? Yeah, so let's go with a... Um, She's still level 5, which is nice. Let's go with this and this start shooting. You kidding me? Not that one. Okay. Is it this one? No. That's fine. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move ourselves. It's probably this one then, right? Yeah, I think there's only one more left, so that's fine. It must be that one. Okay, then we're going to move ourselves over here. And chill. Mince gets a turn. Okay. I'm going to switch his weapon. Jump up here. Run round and attack. Actually, I'm going to run round here. And whirlwind attack. That that one's real. Okay, you have you also have reduced damage. Oh, uh, so you have non-lethal damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in which case, do it again. We could also do this if we wanted to, I suppose. But um, let's let's go with this. Okay, that's fine. What must be done? Jahira, get up this way. And we could do this. Although they don't have any concentration on yet, so I suppose we don't need to. Just do a little lightning. Okay. That's fine. All by an elf hand shot. What's, uh, what's the hag pregnancy buff? Uh, killing the hag will lead to the child's death. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just don't do that, basically. Doubles the magic resistance while being in the hag. Oh, sorry, while being in the... The hag doubles the resistance while being in the lair. That's a... Uh, Good to know. Okay, round here. Uh, yeah, anything that would be useful here. Maybe uh, a polymorph or something? Just knock a creature out. Yeah, let's try and knock you out. Okay, cool. Um, don't want one of those. Don't want to do that. Yeah, we just chill. Wisdom failed. Is that wisdom or... Um, that's probably wisdom to f uh, pa if it passes then they don't attack I'll us kind of check bastards, okay we saved command flee that's good oh that's another anti ethel we needed to kill it I didn't even see that one okay that's fine shield blow just try and knock it over. It didn't work, but that's fine. I uh, don't like the healing on it, but okay. That's fine. Then the wait, do these heal anti ethel? They do. We need to destroy them. I understand. By using fire. I also understand. You just call me a foul mouthed little lizard? There's no need to be just incredibly rude. All right, up here. Um, let's go with our scorching ray shot. I think that was meant to stop the thing, but I think you have to actually put burning on it now that I think about it. Oops. Uh, 
Can I stab? No, I don't have the ability to do that. Uh, let's go with one of these. And I'm going to shoot you. What's the boon of servitude? Armor class increased by two regains hit points each turn. Lovely. Okay. That's fine. Okay. This is still fine. Immune to being poisoned. Okay. Uh, I would like to destroy these plants. What's that one got left? 69 on it. Okay. Why don't you move your way over here? Blades bared. I completely ignore uh, everything that's happening. And then I do want to cast some blight on it. I can't get quite close enough this turn. Okay, next turn. In which case, uh, oh, I don't want to stand next to the chasm. Uh, in which case, full person. Didn't work. I hate that. Okay, I'm standing next to the chasm. That's not good. I'm gonna die. Weep if you wish. Minsk will not judge. Okay, uh. We try and knock these guys out. Or knock this one out. Let's, let's go for this one. It's been a terribly done combat on my side so far. Okay. Let's do a couple of hits. Get as close as we can. Maybe do a little AoE heal just to keep us topped up. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, could summon a planar ally? Like a Jin or something? Or Cambion. Cambion has rays of fire. Alright, I'm going to summon a Cambion up here. That'll help us. Um, followed by our own little AoE heal. Right, which also gives everyone Blade Ward. I forgot that. And Bless. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. Don't. Okay, that's fine. I thought they were going to try and push us down into the pit. Which I would have had coming, but, you know. Let's not worry about that. Arctic Inspiration. These now heal back to full. Yeah, that's fine. Saved against Polymorph. Saved against that as well. Okay. Um, I think what I want to do is just try and lower its health as much as possible. Can I shoot it? I can shoot it from here. Let's do that. If I can get it down below 64, it dies 100%. Perfect. It dies 100%. Get away from the chasm. That's the only thing that really matters here. A spores? Oh, I can take an additional action this turn? Well, that's cool. I didn't really know that that was what... I guess I went close enough to the spores, so I got a buff? Huh, well, um... Shoot it. Nice. What are you doing? He's been hit with Curse of Regret and then been pushed away. Okay. Do a little extra poison damage on top of that one there. That did seem like it was trying to knock her into the pit. Okay. Saved. Okay. Cambion. Uh, I was just kind of hoping to do as much damage as possible there. Another anti echo We might need to get rid of that one at some point. Let's not worry about that. Minsk, I'm looking for damage on this. Uh, you haven't got any more damage? Okay. Can you cast Blight on this thing? You can, perfect. Another one down. Okay, over here. Followed by attempt... Oh, I already used my bonus action. I was going to attempt to shoot it, but let's not worry about that. At least I'm not next to the chasm anymore. 
can try and kill it on Shadow Hearts. Let's go around here. Uh, Guiding Bolt. Nice. Did some damage to Minsk, but that's okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then a little heal. Good. Right, no one's standing next to a chasm. Things are looking much better for us now. We would love to knock out some of these guys if we could. I'll worry about that when we get there. Coven of Hags activates. Okay. I mean, we can see. In theory, we can see invisible. You saved against being seen. Well. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I do this here. Eh, maybe an arrow of acid right there. <laughs> that wasn't the real one, but hey, it's something to do. Now, I think there's one here as well. Yeah, right on that spot right there. Okay, well, let's chuck an arrow of acid onto that spot. They saved, <laughs> which is not good. Then just simply shoot. Got him. <laughs> okay. That's fine. More damage onto Minsk. That's fine. You say being knocked. Cambion is frightened. That's not a problem. Cambion. Uh, could do one of these. I don't think that's going to help us. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go fire onto you. Let's do a little fire damage. Okay. Can we fight now? Who is that I think I want to take out Captain Grizzly here. Ah. And again. Okay. Could do a healing word on yourself as well. He can't... Oh, he did heal. I was going to say for saying there it looked like he could heal, but that's fine. Um, I think we could cast, we cast a little ice knife over here if we wanted to do a little extra damage, maybe. An earthen bottle. Does that help us at all? No. I was trying to think if there was anything we could do with that info. Target must, have met, must be metal or have metal for that one. Try a whole person on two people. Nice. Okay, now we're talking. Nice. Okay. Shield blow. Didn't work. That's fine. Uh, would love to knock this person out. Passive say that we can. Do it. I knew I was taking that hit, but that's okay. Do not put poison on it. And then heal. Okay. One more hit and we get Captain Grizzly knocked out. There's still a bunch of hags around the place. Yeah. Broke my uh, concentration, which isn't good. Okay. Not ideal. We stop casting the same insect plague uh, <laughs> move over and over again. Ow. Okay, now what's your plan? Invisible passage. Okay, well, you're very visible now. I think what we're going to do is jump to the other side. Switch to our melee weapons and go to town. Uh, we want to do offhand first. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, and I use my other thing. I want to do offhand so we could then get the bonus from our seeking blood, but it doesn't work because we have to actually hit. Okay. Ow. Ow. Don't put poison on it. 
Okay. I can find these hags, so we can remove the these. Because all we have to do is do single point of damage. Like I think there's a hag in the corner. Where can you, you move to here? Okay. So I think if you cast like uh, this, we hit them, which then breaks concentration of the insect plague. Yeah, that's kind of what we're after. I have missed this. The adventure. The danger, uh, down the here. Of butts. Whirlwind attack. Ow. Uh, hit him. That's not good. Uh, mass cure wounds at a high level, I guess. Yourself. Cambion. Shadowheart. Minsk. Rogu. Um, the floor. Okay, that'll do. Uh, followed by a healing word onto Minsk. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it's incredibly rude at the end there. We'd love to be able to see this invisible one that's down here somewhere. Got to head in on. here. I kind of want to hit you though. Let's hit you. All right, we've knocked her out. Uh, I'm going to summon a great axe here. Okay. Stop it. Please. Hey, there's Auntie Ethel. Nice. There's an Auntie Ethel. We'd love to hit it. Assuming it's in the same spot. Okay, you're there. Okay, there's a couple standing here. Okay. Nice damage. This is fine. I can still see you. Just so you know. So I think we run over here, we get in the haste spore, and then we run back out. Breathe deep and move. Never mind. Okay, keep stabbing. Huge amounts of damage. Stay your way. Okay. Uh, you're gonna fly down as far as you can. I'm gonna take some stabs in the dark. <laughs> Aha! We got some of them. For goodness. Okay. Up here. Hit her. The other cheek, evil. So might bite and again. This one also. Nice. No better moment. Uh, try and get as much in here as possible. Followed by hitting. Okay. I think before I do the last hit, I'm gonna do a quick save so that I make sure I don't kill with like necrotic damage or something. Um, get up here. Whoa, whoa! Don't, don't do what I told you to do. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, uh... Let's think about this here. I could do my own insect plague in this area. That should hit anything that's remaining. Nice! That worked really well. Okay, huge fan of that. You're just gonna kind of exist. Okay. This is fine. Not invisible. Alright, quick save. We could end up killing her with necrotic damage, which is what I really want to avoid here. So. Let's see how this goes. Wait for save is finished. Yeah, this is fine. 
Yeah. Okay. Knocked out. Ethel lies unconscious, her stomach bulging from the child she ate. Cut Vanra out. Hey, wonderful. Uh, you're Vanra, right? Your mom sent me. Alright. Well, she's off. Child Protection Agents. <laughs> Shadowheart uh, is inspired. Okay, uh, can I... Stop the... Yeah, stop concentration on the insect plague. That's fine. Auntie Ethel. We got double tap here. Ring of the Fey Wild Sparks. While your Sorceress Tides of Chaos feature is active. Wow. Uh, that's something that will never be useful as we don't have a Sorcerer. It was double tap. Just make sure you kill, killed Auntie Ethel again. Yep. And then the other one is uh, find and rescue the child. Okay. Another step forward. That's the wrong button. Captain Grizzly? How do I untemporarily not... How do I wake you up? I guess I could talk to you. Knocked out temporarily. Will regain consciousness after a long rest. Uh, can I help up? Uh, help? Can't be helped. Hopefully that doesn't break anything. <laughs> um, hello. Auntie has my baby. Where is he? Where is my baby? Uh, okay. You don't seem awfully happy. Can we pickpocket the masks off of them? Let's see if we can do that. Let's quick save and try and pickpocket a mask off of them. Okay. Softer than a whisper. Free for Wait the for the save to finish. Uh I can take what I please. Yeah. From your pocket to mine. Okay. You're not fooling anyone, we're told. Stop that. Stop trying to steal things from me. Auntie, they showed up again just like you said they would. They robbed me, stripped me naked, and pissed on me right in front of everyone. Some people- have been emptying pockets around here. You might want to allay some suspicions before things get out of hand. Uh, talk my way out. It wasn't me. You can't prove anything. Hey. You may have talked your way out of this one. That's good. What's this? Um, some people laughed, others looked away, but no one helped me. Not one person except you. I'll do it. I'll cook your meals, make your bed, wash your feet, anything you want, as so long as you hurt them, as long as you make them scream. I have one request. Can I watch? Interesting. Okay. Well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to quick save here. And then uh, I think we're going to end the episode. And then next time we'll figure out what we're doing with this. We might have to just do a long rest. Which is a little odd. But anyway, we'll see what we have to do. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.